so today I am getting a PRP microneedling facial insert Kim Kardashian vampire facial picture here. I am going to get it at Hydrate Me. I'm not going to get it. I'm here at Hydrate Me getting it. So they already took a vial of my blood and basically they are just going to microneedle it into my skin. I have struggled with hormonal acne and acne my entire life, probably since I was about 10. And microneedling has been the one thing that has helped my hormonal acne scarring over the past couple of years. It has gotten so bad. Um, I think I can show you, yes. So that's what my skin looks like now. Uh, so I have scarring on either side of my cheeks. I think you can see it, yeah. And this is Gabby, by the way. Hello. <laughs> oh. This is Paige. So she's gonna explain now what PRP does and how it can help acne scarring and skin in general. So um, the PRP or the vampire facial uh, helps when we perform like the micro trauma with the micro needling to your skin. Um, the plasma will help uh, facilitate new cell growth um, faster than if we were to do a microneedling session mm -hmm. without it. Yeah, so this is the first time I'm ever getting it. I've gotten microneedling done before and I'm super, super excited and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process. But I don't know if I mentioned, I'm also on an anti-aging drip. Don't know what vitamins are in here. We have so, glutathione, vitamin C, B-complex, um, dry aminos. Yeah, what they said. So basically I come in here every single week. It just keeps me hydrated, gets my essential vitamins in and helps my skin be healthy. She just is putting the numbing cream on my face right now so that it doesn't hurt when she pokes the needles in my face. Um, so this will be, I'll wait how long for it to numb? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here with the numbing cream on. So this is Michaela's um, separated blood. We've got all the dense blood down here and up here is what we're gonna use um, the plasma to help facilitate all that new um, skin cell growth while we're doing her microneedling. So we use a lower setting on the forehead, usually around the eyes and the chin. Um, and then we can use a higher setting, which makes the needles protrude out a little bit more on the cheeks um, or as she tolerates them because usually the cheeks have thicker skin. So um, it needs a longer needle. You say your heart is too fragile. Maybe we should keep it casual, that's fine. That's fine. He broke your heart into pieces. I know that you are still healing, that's fine. It's all right. what my face looks like afterwards. Um, I had zero bleeding, like zero pinpoint bleeding, which is why they typically call it the vampire facial, partially why they call it the vampire facial. But my face is gonna be like this for probably a few days. I will document how my face looks, but I know from my past microneedling experience, my face tends to get inflamed a little bit because there's literally needles going into my skin. So I'll just keep you guys updated and then I will show you the before and after as well. Okay, so it is the day after. I'm with Gabby right now and I still have redness. I'm gonna show you my whole face. Still have redness. I'm not supposed to be putting on any makeup, like anything like that for a couple days, mostly just the first 24 hours, just so no bacteria gets in the little puncture holes that they made. But so far my skin is like really reacting very, very well. And my face is even just a little bit swollen, not as swollen as I was expecting it to be, but I am assuming that it is going to be like this for maybe like three or four days but i will check back in with you guys tomorrow and let you guys know this is the texture as well i don't know if you can see it this is my iphone but um yeah so i know i'm wearing makeup right now but i just had a photo shoot and i i am breaking out you can see that um i am going to insert 
a picture of my before and after of my last microneedling treatment. Um, it made an incredible difference. And like I said, it has to get worse before it gets better when it comes to microneedling, any kind of facials. It literally just brings all of the impurities in your pores out. So to end this video, I wanted to give you guys my skincare products that have helped my acne so much. Like I have tried pretty much every skincare line for acne prone skin out on the market. I've tried medication. I'm actually still on medication, but this has helped with the texture of my skin and just bring vibrancy, if that makes sense, to my skin again, because for a while it was just very dull and you could see it. So I have been religiously using Tula products. My favorite is the Purifying Face Cleanser. So within all of the Tula products, it has probiotics in it, which is incredible for the skin. The Purifying Facial Cleanser, a part of my every single day routine, I wash my face in the morning and at night with it. And depending on what my skin is doing, um, if I already have more oily skin during the day, then I will use this moisturizer. It is the Aqua Infusion Oil-Free Gel Cream. That being said, if I wake up and my skin is very dry and it needs moisture, I will use the day and night cream. I don't have it. I actually ran out. Um, I need to order a new one, but I will leave a picture right here. That's an essential as well. This mask is my absolute favorite. It's the exfoliating mask. Incredible. All you do is leave it on for five minutes. Then you wash it off and um, you have to wash it off for a period of, what is it? one minute. So just making sure that you're exfoliating the skin as you're washing it off. And then I also live by their glycolic acid. So these are the products that I religiously use. If you want, I do have links below. Let me know what you guys think about this video, about the PRP facial, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.